Say man, hey man, it's your boy Booster, and I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel, Boosted Fit, where you feel more alive than ever. And if you like this video, make sure you like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to see more future videos, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate any constructive criticism that you have, and I really would appreciate it if you show some support. As you can see, dumbbells only, people. So stick to the script. Use only dumbbells. Now, if your GM doesn't have enough dumbbells, then use what you have. Now, the first set is pretty much a warm-up set. So, do however many sets and reps you need to do in order to get warm enough so you can go ahead and start your working set. Now, that's up to you. I wouldn't want you to risk injury, so make sure you warm up, people. Please, do that for me. This is the first working set, so go pretty heavy if you can. Now, don't go in there ego lifting thinking you're going to pick up the whole gym when you have more sets to come. So take it easy on yourself and do a weight that you can control for eight reps. Also, remember, I want a three count on the way down. That will make the workout that much harder. So make sure you count one, two, three, up, squeeze. One, two, three, up, squeeze. And that's the tempo for this workout that will make it that much harder. The first set is a set of eight, which is your heavy set, and the second set is a set of 10 with the weight lower. So the third set will be a set of 12 with the weight lower than the second set. When the weights get low like that, you can slow your tempo down slower than the three count if you can. Now on to the third set, which is a set of 12. The tempo is the same and the weight is lower, but you're still squeezing at the top. So by now, your chest should be full of blood. I'm talking about blood just pumping in your chest that feel like you're about to bust out of your shirt. I don't know about y'all, but I like the feeling when the blood just flows through my vein. It just feel like everything is about to explode. I can't lie. This set of 12 was crucial. Only if you could see my face right now, you would think I was making love to the weights. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. I, I was making love to the weights. I'm sorry about that. But on to the last set. Now, the trick with the last set is I used the fat grips and I did a burnout. So, however many reps you can do, do it. But if you can't do any reps, don't do any reps. But remember... Always burn out on the last set and you will repeat this two to three times after you finish the last set. I'd like to give a shout out to my guy over there that walked in front of the camera every time I set my camera up. When y'all see him, make sure y'all show him some love. After we get done with incline dumbbell press, it's on to flat bench dumbbell press. Now, I really love dumbbells because... I feel you can get a better range of motion as opposed to using a bar. So I always incorporate dumbbell press in any of my workouts because it can help you a lot better, in my opinion, than flat bench press with a bar because you, get, you can get a better range of motion. Still doing eight reps with a tempo of one, two, three, squeeze. So don't forget that when you're doing this workout because that's very important because the weight is not super heavy, so you have to focus more on contracting the muscle as opposed to just pushing the weight up and don't squeeze at the top because a lot of people come in a lot of times and they just go through the motion, which I don't like to see, but hey, everybody is different and everybody responds to something different, so do what works for you. By this point, you should be looking for the exercise. Now we're down to 12 reps. Now these 12 reps were really hard because after all the other sets and reps that I did, I made it to this third set. So make the best of it. Make everything count because you can't get a day back that you lost and you feel you didn't give your all in the gym. So while you're in the gym, go ahead and give it your all and worry about the rest later. When I played football, my coach always told me, leave everything on the field. And I think you should do the same at the gym. Leave everything in the gym. Don't have no regrets when you walk out of the door because you can't get that day back. Yeah, at the last set, people. But don't worry because it is a burnout set with the fat grips once again. So don't cheat yourself. Cheat me. I want you to finish every rep if you can. 
As you can see, I'm making all kind of love faces, just making love to the waist. It's feeling good, but it's hurting at the same time. I ain't gonna lie to you. Come on, people, we are at the finish line. This last workout, I don't even know what to call it, but it had my blood just pumping in my chest, as you can see. But I called them around the world. Now, I just did one set of these, and I just did as many as I can do without having to scream out loud so everybody can hit me in the gym. If you do this workout in its entirety, I promise you, you will be sore for the next couple of days because I know I was. You can do these in any order. You can do this first or you can do flat bench first. Long as you do everything I have laid out for you in this workout. And let me know what you think and let me know if it worked for you like it worked for me because I want to know. I had to finish the workout with some type of arm um, activity. I'm doing two sets of 10 on tricep push down to finish the workout and pump a little blood in my tricep to make some tricep gains. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, you said it was an all dumbbell workout. Why are you doing tricep push down? Hey, I finished all my workouts with some type of arm exercise, whether it's bicep or tricep. But don't worry about that. Just get in there and make your sets and reps count with the dumbbells. If you made it to the end of this video, I would like to thank you and I would encourage you to like my videos, comment if you want, or subscribe to my channel to see future videos. With that being said, aha!